Hear your swag. Fill your trunk. Make the world bump. When you push play, make everybody on the block hear me. Make everybody in the world feel me. I'm out here collecting. So, if I give you the names, PSC and Dynamic. What do those two names mean to you? Formal Style Crew. Yes. I'm on that side. <laughs> I'm on the PSC side at the beginning. Okay. But um, in Dynamic, I mean, I'm not going to say they was the, the competition or the competitors, but they was the other dope group mm -hmm. out, out of our side. So, of course, there's going to be some type of peaceful battles, you know what I mean, at times. But, uh, yeah, man, when I hear about those two names, I hear two dope groups, man, that, that did it, you know what I mean, being, mm -hmm. being opened up doors for a lot of people. Use this avenue, his resources that he had with his brother to open up doors for the homies, you know what I mean? And, and Dynamic had technique, you know what I mean? Technique was already in the game. You got to respect that guy. And he did the same for his group. Right. So I look at those two as superstars out the east side. Way overdue. Like, they, they should have been on. That's, that's right. You that's know? definitely right. So you mentioned that you were on the PSC side. Yes. So what made that happen versus you? Because it sounds like you were... In a medium middle. between the two. I was. So what made you go one way well, because, despite I mean, the other? Well, because I was really building with that side, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. More than what I was with Dynamic side, even though I know Dynamic, you know what I mean? Rule, you know what I'm saying? Pac-10. Mm -hmm. I know all of them, you know what I mean? But I started building as an artist and as a producer with PSC side, you know what I'm saying? With porno style side. So that's why I sell more on that side. Okay. Than anything. I'm on both sides, but I'm more on that side. Right. We're all east side only. Exactly. That's true. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever seen the two? Um, you ever witnessed a battle between the two, the two sides? Uh, yeah. Tell me about uh, it. Well, I witnessed the first battles before the P PSC. It was always dynamic, but mm -hmm. I remember the battles when hit and, and, and technique used to always go at it. Like it was like a never-ending battle. Right. Break it down I don't for think it me. Never ended. <laughs> But it couldn't end because it was always like back and forth, back and forth. It was never no blowout. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it was a nice, friendly battle, man. And that's hip hop. You know what I mean? That's what we did. That's how you get your name known. That's how you represent your culture, your sound, your style in them ciphers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I witnessed a lot of that. A lot of that. So how would you say both sides held their own? Would it be oh. lyrically? Would it be the delivery of the, you know, of the battle rap? Like what, what would you say made that? Both of them was lyrical okay. teams. Both okay. of them had delivery. That's what I'm saying. It was like, that's why I could never end. Because it was boom, 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 boom. They mm -hmm. both always had it. And the more they kept going at each other, the more intense it was and more, ah, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, that friendly boxing game of lyricism. That's I love it. On the real. That's right. So... From what I hear, you were there when uh, Technique and Hit were gonna. Um, I think it was battle for the first time. Okay, the first I think one? you were sure gonna did. you were gonna beatbox during yep. that, correct? Sure did. So tell me a little about that, and tell me your thoughts on who actually took that battle. Well, what started it was you know Technique's brother, you know Pac-10, my boy Tanel, what up, bro? But uh, you know he used to always speak up on his brother. You know what I mean? Because you know he always, <laughs> I felt like he always felt like you know. Hit was the shit, but he didn't want to give him that. You know what I mean? MC dig it. So he was always pulling out his brother on it. So one day, Pac was like, battle my brother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we took it to the quad. You know what I mean? On lunchtime. You know what I mean? It was like, like it's, poly, like, right? Yep. Like, it's going to be a fight. Ain't no uh -huh. fight. But everybody, so everybody like, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Took it to the quad. Pac was like, what's up? I heard you want to see Tech or whatever. Hit like whatever. Started off in a cipher though. You know mm -hmm. what I mean, everybody was busting. People from Dynamic was busting. Tech was buffing, busting. Homie Rue was busting. Then we had Hit busting. A lot of other people at school busting. Mm -hmm. And then it just ended up Hit and Tech, and they just 
start going so at it. Tell me more about the energy at that time. Energy. Like you, like what, what did you feel? Okay, it started it? off when, when it started off with the cipher. It was like whatever. You could see everybody getting bubbled up for that moment. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We knew it was coming. So while everybody was speaking their mind, and it came back to tech, and tech was spitting and like kind of calling out hit, and hit came back, and it just directed to each other. So the it was very intense, very dope, very entertaining, all in one. So after that, it just continued to go on every every lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> For a right. long time. <laughs> yeah. So who would um, who would you say was the best group at that time? I would have to say dynamic because okay. they was more uh, organized, established as a group. They already had a movement going. So, uh, yeah, definitely dynamic. You know what I'm saying? You can't deny them. Them dudes definitely paid away and, and, and being lyricists and, and doing their own thing before it, it got independent like how it is now. So mm -hmm. definitely dynamic. Okay. Definitely dynamic. What would you say is the most important thing to you about that era in music? Man, being original, yo. Nobody in that cypher sound alike. Mm -hmm. Feel me? We all from the same city, same turf. We have our same swag, but our sound, our delivery, our artistry, mm -hmm. is all different. So everybody was original. That's the main thing. Nobody wanted to sound like Snoop. Nobody wanted to sound like the next man. Everybody wanted to create their own sound and come out with their own way. That's why it was hard for us to come up because we didn't sound like nobody. Mm -hmm. We had our own sound own brand so it took longer for us to get our sound out there you know what i mean so that's the main thing most important is that we was all original okay so let me ask you this if you had someone such as Ruth from dynamic mm -hmm. and then someone battling uh technique from dynamic like what what do you feel you would have gotten from technique that you would that you wouldn't get from Ruth? what would you feel you would get More. from Ruth that you wouldn't get from tech uh, from technique to rule, be more lyrical content on, on, on technique side. He's real, real lyrical, real mm -hmm. lyrical. Rule's more laid back, more street, but he got content too as well. He got punchlines too as well. But technique will be more punchlines. But what Rule got more on technique is maybe his swag. Rule has swag, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, he don't care. He used to be like, man, I like ugly women. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's Rue, you know what I'm saying? He like, speak his mind to this day. That's, that's him, though. That's right. Rue, you know what I mean? And, this is swag. He, don't, he remind me of like old dirty bastard a little bit, but West Coast way. Uh -huh. Like no father to his style, you dig? Like he just, he just be him, do him. His swag is dope. That's right. So they're both dope. All right, so real. I'm going to ask you the same question when it comes to you and Hit. Me, I'm probably more on, on the funky side. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I got my own sound called New Age Funk. So mm -hmm. I like to make people dance. Hit do too, but I like to make a lot of club music. You know what I'm saying? Make people feel good. Music hit. It's more of a ladies man makes more more commercial wise music mm -hmm. which is dope it's more of an artist compared to me that i feel you know what i mean mm -hmm. he's more easier to market than me because i'm probably more too underground ish you know what i mean or whatever but we're both dope at the same time I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> what are some of the things that you feel they were good don't get me wrong like they had some really good, sharp, dangerous MCs. And I felt like in order to be the best, we had to take them out. We had to build a team that was ready to go up against them because I felt like in the early 90s, they had the crown. They were the first ones kind of doing the mixtapes and, and just, you know, at school.